Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited to film this video today because it is something a little bit different to what I typically feel. Today, as you can tell by the title, this is going to be the full face using products that I hate video. Now, you guys know I don't really do a lot of makeup related videos on my channel just because <laughs> As I've mentioned before, I'm no Jaclyn Hill bitch. I was like, you know what? This video isn't really like a tutorial or it doesn't really matter if it turns out well. It isn't going to turn out well because these are products that I hate that don't work for me. Um, so I was like, this is sort of like more of an entertaining video rather than an actual makeup video. If you're not aware of this video, as you probably are, but it is basically me doing a full face of makeup using products that I hate. Hate is a very strong word. Some of these products I just really... I don't want to say hate, but really, really, really dislike. Yes, these are products that do not work for me, that I do not reach for very regularly. And some of them I've had for a while, some of them are kind of older. So if you want to know what products that do not work for me with my makeup technique skills, let's just get straight on to the video. Also, sorry for this rash that I have right here. Um, I don't know what it is. Um, it's like really dry. I don't know if it's like dermatitis or something. I've never had this before, but I need some cream in this motherfucker. I have already done my brows, as you can tell by the weird appearance, uh, because I don't really have a product that I dislike for my brows. However, um, to do my brows, I do have this product that I really don't like for my brows. This is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. And I kind of just got this to see whether it was similar to like the Benefit Gimme Brow or something like that to just make my brows a little fuller. If you have brows that are like tattooed on or if your brows are already really full already, then this might be like a quick and easy like do over sort of thing. But for me, I just find it really messy and it doesn't really do anything for my brows whatsoever. So, I'm going to zoom you guys in so you guys can actually see what I'm doing better. But yes, this product really doesn't do absolutely anything for me. Um, it kind of just is a little bit of a mess, actually. If you get it, like, on your skin, you then have to clean it up. I mean, it's not the worst thing ever, as I said. If you have, like, naturally thick brows and you just want, like, a really, really quick and easy way to fill them in a little bit and just create a little bit more colour... Um, then that would be okay, but I just personally find that this is kind of pointless. And I already have a brow gel that I use to keep my brows in place, so what's this for? So next off, I'm going to go in with primer. This is the, sorry about that. This is the Benefit Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer. And it's basically just like a stick, and I don't really know, mine's like really like literally nearly empty because I got this in a sample with the Benefit Pore Professional which I like but I just don't like the feel of this product on my skin. Um, I mean it does fill in and like blurs out my pores and stuff but I don't really see the point in it. I'd rather use a hydrating primer because I don't know my skin does get a little oily throughout the day but I just hate primers that are like I don't even know what this is. It's not silicone I don't think. I don't know maybe it is but it just pulls on my skin. It does fill in my pores and kind of like blur out imperfections, but it's just to me like the most pointless thing. I'd rather use a primer that like I can put onto my actual like um, face with my fingers. This one just, I don't know, it just pulls and it drags and it's dry. And then when I feel it like this, it almost feels just like nothing. Like. I can feel some stickiness there, by the way, excuse my very tanned hands, um, to my not tanned face. Okay, so next off is a foundation. Now, I recently got this foundation because I was seeing it basically all over. And um, I hate it, bitch. I hate it so much. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover. And I can't even get the sticker off of mine. It was that difficult to pull off. I don't know why. But I was seeing this around. Um, I saw it firstly on Instagram with Jamie Genevieve, who I really like. But I do not like this. This is basically a full coverage foundation. Apparently, it is matte. And it is supposed to cover tattoos. Now, for me, I do not find this to be that full of coverage to be honest with you. It probably is full coverage if you don't have anything to cover, but if you do have things to cover, I just don't like this very much. The color is in Nine Light Sand, which is not my shade at all. I mean, it might match me now, but it does not match my fake tan. The only reason I got this was because I watched Brittany Lee Saunders' video on this, and she mentioned that um, this was sort of the only color that didn't have a pink undertone to it, and I definitely don't have a pink undertone. Yeah, I just find this really, really drying, really cakey. Um, it is a really, really weird texture. It is super 
super super thick and I hate it so much so I'm just going to apply it onto my skin and I'm actually going to blend it out with this brush that I also dislike and I have used this with a sponge and a brush that I do like and neither way I like this foundation but just for this video I thought I'd also use a brush that I don't like this is the TBX foundation buffer brush it is so dense it might be okay for like blending out cream contour bitch I don't even think it would it if you blend like contour over this, um, it will remove your foundation because it is so densely packed. Maybe you could use it for like under eye concealer or setting. It just does not work for me in the slide. But it is just so thick. Like it really, really is. And normally I like a full coverage. I mean, it's so pale even for my own skin and like I'm bloody pale. Um, but it is just so thick. It looks like you're putting icing on your face. And I don't even think that you could, like, as I said, I don't know, for me, if you had, like, no problems with your skin and your skin was, like, perfect already, it might be okay because you wouldn't need to use a lot. But if you really, really want that coverage, it just, I don't know, I feel like you need to put a little bit on here and it just looks so okay. And... Who is that ringing me? If the colour's not right for you, then it's obvious you're probably not going to really enjoy... The foundation anyway but for me I don't think it would matter whether this foundation was the perfect shade for me it's just really like weird and the fact that this is like really the only I mean I don't know if there are other colors that really do um, have like a yellow or sort of beigey undertone to them that you could use um, but this one in particular was the only one that I could see that didn't have a pink undertone in the very limited range that I had in the store that I bought this from so I mean, really, you would have to go bronze this shit up because, come on, dolls, look at it. You're kidding. It's just, like, honestly, but I don't know, ugh, I don't know if you guys can tell how this just does not blend out very well, and I, as I said, I know I'm using, like, a shitty brush, but at the same time as that, I have used this with a sponge, I have used this with another brush, and, um that I do really like and it does not do anything. It does not fix it. So I don't know if you guys can see there, but it still hasn't really even covered those pimples that I have here, like at all. And that was like quite a fair bit of foundation. So yeah, not happy Jan about that. And up close, it just looks so like almost powdery. If you have like fine lines or texture on your skin or anything like that, this foundation really isn't the best for you, I don't think, because it kind of just emphasizes all of the dryness that you have on your face and the color. <laughs> Fucking Casper the ghost bitch wear. Okay, so next is concealer. So for my concealer, I'm going to use the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer in the lighter shade, I think. I don't know why I bought this. Um, it is so sheer, like literally, like it does absolutely nothing, to be honest with you, for my under eye. This concealer just doesn't do anything like it doesn't like you can even tell when it goes on you can see the spaces there how sheer this concealer actually is but I'm just gonna blend this in with a sponge I have used this with a sponge and with a brush see already like the redness that that foundation didn't cover and now the concealer going over the top it doesn't do anything like it just still shows redness and pigmentation that I have underneath there this concealer is absolutely pointless and who wants a sheer concealer? No one on YouTube. That is my foundation and concealer done flawless face. Fuck off. So now I'm going to go in with powder. This is the Thin Lizzy Airbrush Veil. Now, it's not like I hate this powder, but I don't understand the point of airbrush veils. It's not like a translucent powder that really sits on your skin if you're wanting to bake. It's not a full coverage powder, it's a finishing veil, and I do not understand these. The powder is so fine that if you go to bake under your eyes or set anywhere, it basically just kind of like... You watch now, it won't do it. I feel like it's actually kind of like setting now, but typically if you blend it out just even a little bit, it will kind of like disappear. Like it won't really bake under the eyes. It will kind of just disappear into the skin. Wherever you put the powder, it will sit there. And then if you blend it out, it will become sheerer everywhere else. I just don't like it. I don't understand the point of finishing veil. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this to set the rest of my face. I would just prefer to use a translucent powder like Laura Mercier or a pressed powder that has fuller coverage, especially with a foundation that doesn't really give me the coverage I want. 
Um, I don't really see the point of a finishing veil. What is that? Now, I think I'm going to do my full base first. So I'm going to do my bronzer and everything first. Now I don't have a blush that I dislike, but I do have a bronzer slash contour and it is the Astralis AC on Tour Contour Kit. Now I remember when this came out, it was very hyped and um, I actually ordered this online because they were all out of stock in my local price line. This highlight shade um, up here actually is not really that bad, but the banana shade, the banana shade is not too bad either. It's very powdery. These are very powdery products as you can see. All of these shades are so pigmented that it's actually terrible. Like they are so pigmented that it is awful. They are muddy. They do not blend out. You literally tap your brush in once and they go everywhere. And this shade in the middle, which everyone was sort of raving about because it was sort of like the cool toned shade for contouring is awful because it is so muddy. So I will show you guys. I'm going to take this Sigma brush and I'm going to take this um, shade here, which is the least warm one. Um, and I'm just literally going to dab my brush in once. Dab like that, right? Now I'm going to try to bronze with this. Like literally. I dab that in one time and you try to make this look good. It just stays there, dolls. Like that is literally what it looks like and try blending it out to make it look less muddy. It ain't gonna happen. Where you put your brush, see, that's where it like sits. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't want to blend out, it's where it sits. It's good to have a pigmented product, but my fucking God, like I actually would prefer to build up my bronzer than have to deal with this bloody shit every single day. And I'm not even using a really dense brush that's picking up a lot of product. I'm just using this fluffy brush. Now I'm going to use my NARS Eater brush, which is an amazing brush. And I'm going to go in with this cooler shade tone to create that kind of like shadow look. Oh, okay. What am I on? fucking RuPaul's Drag Race, bitch. Like, what on earth? When I first got this, I was like, oh my god, like, amazing. And I haven't even gotten another contour kit since this. Like, it's not like I've tried anymore, like the Anastasia Beverly Hills or the Kat Von D Shade and Light. This is literally the only contour kit I've had. It's just so chalky. The shades do not blend, they look muddy, and they're actually way too pigmented. Next up, I'm going to do highlighter. Now, this might come as a surprise, but I really don't like this highlighter, the MAC Soft and Gentle Skin Finish. The reason I don't like this, personally, I find it to be really, really chunky and glittery. And I hate that on my skin because I have textured skin. So whenever I put this on my skin, I can't believe how orange my hands are. This is so chunky on me. It makes my any texture on my skin or any pores on my skin look really, really bad. So I've actually had this since 2012. Is that bad? Probably. I don't use it very often, but I'm just going to take this Real Technique setting brush and I'm just going to pack in. I mean, it is pigmented. And it probably like looks nice on the camera, but it just, up close, it looks really... I mean, along with this contour, bitch, anything would look terrible. But you can see actual pieces of glitter in it. Okay, next, moving on to eyes. So, I do have a palette here that I was actually um, given for a Christmas present. And I really don't like it, even though the brand has some good products. I've never actually had a lot of products from this brand before, but I've heard about it. It's the designer brand Smoky Eyeshadow Palette. I really don't like this eyeshadow palette. Firstly, the colors are really strange. I don't know what kind of looks you could do with this whole entire palette. But the colors, when you swatch them, they're not, they're very chalky. They're very, very chalky. They're not the absolute worst, but they're super, super chalky. And then when you kind of like brush them away, all of the pigment goes. So I'm just going to take this yellow shade. Um, whenever I put my brush into this, there is so much powder that comes off of this. Yeah, it doesn't. It just doesn't really do a lot. And this brush probably has a little bit of color on it. From see, obviously, like this is a yellow eyeshadow, but it's coming off more bronzy. I did kind of spot clean these brushes before using them so that they didn't have any other product that. Um, this probably has a little bit of product left on it, which is probably why it's actually looking a little bit better. All of, also, these are all shimmer as well, apart from, I think, the first one. So, like, that's kind of ridiculous. But they're just so... 
like there's nothing there. Thing. It's probably not even looking that bad, but they're just all shimmer. They're super, super chalky. They don't really blend out very much. And as soon as you pick up the product on a brush, it shears out more than what it was when it, you swatched it. And I just don't really love the colour scheme. I would never go towards this palette ever. I don't think even Jaclyn Hill could work with these bitch. Like these are just awful. Yeah, just, I don't like the colour scheme basically. It's just a weird palette. And now on to my eye. I don't have a mascara that I don't like at the moment so I'm just going to apply a little bit of the Falsies Push Up Drama. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply these lashes. Now I was given these lashes with my hair extensions recently and these are actually 100% mink hair which Mm, I know what you're saying, mink. Obviously people have some opinions about mink hair. Um, I mean, these do feel really nice, but they are obviously mink hair. And I don't know the process of um, using mink lashes, whether or not they use the hair that has shed from the mink or whether they do um, other things to it. I really don't know. The reason I don't like these is just because they look very strange on my eyes. These, this part here, the shorter part, um, is really quite long. So I find when I apply it onto my eyes, um, it looks like one length all over, which is never a good look for anyone now, is it? Unless these ones definitely do not suit my eye shape. I find lashes, there are some lashes that really, really don't suit my eye shape very well at all. Um, and these are one of them. So yeah, looking good, looking good. Can you see these like... Sorry, where have I gone? Where has my eye gone? I look like I literally have stuck like my old hair extensions on my eyelid. I fucking can't stand applying eyelashes. Like, okay guys, so we've had a little bit of a technical error and unfortunately my camera just stopped filming without my knowledge. Thank you so much. Can it? Anyway, so I've just applied these lashes and as you can tell, they are just a little tiny bit dramatic. Um, I just don't know where I'd wear these. They do not suit my eyes whatsoever. They are just really weird <laughs> and they're so long in the inner corner. But because my camera stopped filming, I didn't get to show you guys my lip color. So my lip color is the Essence Velvet Matte in 23. The color is not too bad. I don't really like peachy pinks, but the reason I don't like this is because it says it's matte and it is not matte. Um, I have had this on now for like five or so minutes and there is still shine on my lips. Um, it is not matte, so do not say it's matte. That is basically the finished look, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was definitely very entertaining and exciting for me to switch it up a little bit. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, this is definitely date night appropriate. So next day you go on, bitch, get yourself that man by wearing this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do, and let me know in the comments if you have tried any of these products and you like them. Or if you do use them a little bit differently and maybe they work better for you that way. Let me know in the comments what sort of videos you would like to see from me next. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.